Hi friends, Lucas here. So, you know, what's funny is this morning it was so friggin' hot when I was riding in. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I ride in a helmet and I wear jeans and I, as you can see, I got a jacket on and gloves and it was probably about 105 when I rode in today. And, um... Uh, so on the way in, I was thinking, yeah, it's so hot. You know, maybe I will do a a vlog on wearing gear when it's hot out, you know, and why you should do it. <laughs> and then it and then it just dumped. And it's still pretty warm out here. I mean, I, I bet it's 95 still, but it's not 100 and. 10 like it was gonna be when I rode home today um, so why why do I wear full gear when it's 110 115 117 why um, the reality is it's actually cooler yep so I don't know why, but I think it is, you know, you're going to do some amount of sweating. I don't have a cooling vest. I just wear a, a mesh jacket. As you can see, I don't button up. <laughs> um, I don't worry about any of that stuff. But uh, I think what happens is, you know, you sweat a little bit and um, the sweat that that uh, does stick to you when you get moving you stay genuinely cooler than you do without now how do I know well because I used to be one of them crazy Harley riders and hey, that guy's got a float plane he could land it pretty much anywhere right now we we got dumped on uh, we have our monsoon season in the summer I ride in Arizona we have a monsoon season and uh, Occasionally, we'll get just dumped on, and I bet it dumped two inches over here in an hour or less, probably less. I mean, you know, the the, two, the big, the big, big storm came. Um, yeah, so you should wear gear all the time, and I and I know that it's cooler these days uh, because oh, broken down trees because I used to be one of them crazy Harley riders and uh, you know it was too cool to wear a helmet uh, too cool to wear a jacket uh, and I'm I, honestly I'm not uh, I'm not giving you a hard time uh, you wear whatever you want to wear it's your skin and I'm all for that um, but I decided uh, and I've never been down on the street. I have been lucky. I've been riding since I was 17. I'm 45. I have never been down on the street. Um, the only time I've ever been down on a bike was on a dirt road. I got entirely too comfortable on my very first bike, a, uh, an 83 V35 Magna. I got entirely too comfortable uh, on this very long road. Like I think it was probably 75 miles of dirt road, and uh, had gotten up to about 55 miles an hour. And I frankly don't even know what happened, except that uh, one second I was heading one direction, and the other second I was heading the other. And I pretty much low sided, didn't get hurt at all. Well, I wouldn't have gotten hurt. At the time, I actually dislocated my shoulder. Um, but that was normal for me because I had a snowboarding injury where all I had to do was look at something funny and my shoulder would dislocate. Um, and at the time, I knew how to pop it back in. But how to ride a bike home like that. <laughs> you know, the, the 40 miles back on the dirt road, uh, the handlebars were all bent up and <clears throat> brakes didn't work or something so I went much slower on the way out than I did on the way in missed the missed the camping trip trip so anyway I have been one of those crazy ride without gear guys and actually 
You know, I wear, wear regular jeans. I'm under no illusion that the jeans aren't gonna protect me uh, when I crash, or not much anyway. Um, but honestly, I wear them because of my balls. Um, I, I don't know, something about Levi's puts your balls in a place on a sport bike where they are not getting fucking murdered all the time. If you wear shorts on a sport bike, you're just, well, I am. I got big old balls and my big old balls will just get munched. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, does it? No, okay, crunch, that sounds worse. Yeah, so, you, uh, so, so I do wear pants, but uh, really less about the safety issue than I ride every day to work. Um, I'm not cool with showing my big old white guy you know, hairy legs at work. Uh, so, I, whoa, big tree down. Um, so I gotta wear, gotta wear pants, uh, and I wear my jacket, and I wear my gloves, and the reason I wear gloves um, is again, not really less for protection, um, because I don't think the gloves I'm wearing or the gloves that I, any gloves that I have will actually save my bacon in a crash. Maybe a little bit, but you know, again, not much. They're just pretty thin le leather comfortable gloves. The reason I wear gloves is actually because I don't like my grips getting sticky. And uh, for some reason they do, you know, when you don't wear gloves. I hate sticky hands. I hate sticky grips. So I always wear gloves. I don't think I've actually ever touched this motorcycle. <laughs> All right, maybe I did once or twice when I was washing it. Um, but that's uh, raining a little bit out here now. Not so bad. Anywho, so uh, the point is, honestly, try it. Um, it it sounds counterintuitive, and I and I get why people don't wear gear. But um, I really believe that I am cooler. I haven't uh, run any data. And I, I w I'm not sure that I would know how. Uh, because, you know, you stick a thermometer up in your armpit, you're pretty much 98 degrees no matter what, right? Uh, so I don't know exactly how I would determine if I was cooler. But I actually do feel more comfortable when I wear uh, my gear. And I think that has to do with the sweat wicking. Um, but of course, you know, I, w I want to make it clear that I'm not coming home soaking wet. I'm not getting to work, you know, feeling dirty or gross. I'm talking about a, a little sweat seems to make the difference. Um, so anyway, that's that. Uh, I thought I would do a little blog about uh, wearing gear in hot weather. It's funny that it's not hot out right now. In fact, this is the nicest <laughs> it's been in months. I don't know why I have the hiccups now. I swear I haven't been drinking. <clears throat> um, and it is so nice. I kind of don't want to go home right now. But um, it's, it's beautiful out here. Because you know what, but though, it's still warm. It's the water on the jacket thing. It's the moisture in my jacket that is what, that it's what is making it so nice and, and bearable. Um, so try it. Next time you're out, uh, gear up right around. Now, I, uh, uh, to be honest, my rides are under 15 minutes. And I, when I have ridden longer, like when I have to ride across town, it's pretty rare, but sometimes I have to ride across town in the middle of the afternoon. And when you get wherever you're going, I mean, face it, you're hot and, and it sucks and you want to crawl into a freezer, which by the way, Circle K's are usually pretty cool about you doing that. I will literally walk into their cooler, take off my jacket, hang my helmet up on their, uh, on the uh, refrigerator rack and uh, you know, let it dry out and, and cool off. Um, it's a nice 10 minute break and then you put on your icy cold jacket and go do it all over again. 
So again, long rides, you're gonna be hot. But on short rides, um, it's much more pleasant. And um, so let's see if I can show you my ankle socks here. So see my ankles? Um, my ankles get hot. They're the thing that's exposed to uh, obviously the, the the exhaust of the motorcycle down there. Uh, that's what you know. They're exposed to that primarily. Um, but uh, uh, so yeah. Sorry, they get hot. I can't, you know what I can't do? I can't walk and chew gum anymore. I, would, I can't talk and ride a motorcycle. I have to look around, see what's going on. Check my mirrors and shit. Um, you know what is the weirdest smell in the world? Wet header wrap. It's, it's almost pleasant and repulsive at the same time. Wet header wrap, you should smell it. It's uh, pretty weird. So, um, so anyway, yeah, it seems like the, the more naked parts of my body are the parts that get hot. Good thing I'm wearing sunglasses. Uh, just got hit by a huge old water drop in the face. And, um, so yeah, I think it's the unprotected things that seem to get really hot and stay hot. Um, and it's the stuff.